Hello and welcome to the third episode of Look at a Logo with me, Andy, and of course Imogen. Uh, Imogen's not here at the moment because we're on tier two lockdown in our part of the UK, but she has made a contribution and it will be put on later in the video. Now today's logos, not logo, but logos we're going to look at is ATA, Mega and Temple because the all use the same logo but uh, the variant the it's a similar logo but the uh, the only variant is the um, the jingle that uh, the different logos use but I thought I was gonna just do them all separate give you time to think about each logo but I think I'll just do them back to back so looking around of course for information about this logo i tried cgl wiki and they were pretty much the same and i couldn't get any video sleeves off preset.co.uk because they don't have any and i was lucky enough to pull um the three logos off youtube because um you a certain channel which I mentioned in my DVD update has them and uh, that's separated from uh, from this the uh, definitive guide to the video nasties and on there they have a identathon which uh, Tynan Weir preset guy he uploaded and uh, this channel um, took all that and split them all up to be separate apart from the two which were played back to back which were Brent Walker and Icon Films but that's neither here nor there but um, later on ATA and Temple would go on to make um, a couple of new logos for themselves and the videos themselves, the video sleeves are on preset so we'll cover them in the extras episode so um a lot of people are different again with the age of the logo being the way it is you've got to bear in mind that for the time it was it was a good logo but now um well i'll wait until i've shown you the logos to give you my honest opinion and imogen will have a separate segment for her opinion as well so without further ado let's Look at the logo. Now we've had a chance to look at all three logos back to back, I will now give you my opinion on them. Uh, to me, uh, or at the time, I don't know whether you would consider maybe the logos being particularly groundbreaking, but um, a, a lot of people in the community say it 
looks like it could have been made by a BBC microcomputer, which is probably what it was. Um, it was probably done in uh, probably mode 5 or something like that. Um, so by today's standards, the logos look very dated. Um, as a kid, you'd have probably th thought, oh yeah, oh, it looks pretty good that, I wonder how they did that, so on and so forth. But if you're up on your computer programming, which I'm not, not on the BBC Micro anyway, what it looks like, it's, uh, the first part of the logo looks like a draw or four next loop routine. And then it's a pause and print routine, followed by another um, draw and four next loop routine. So, but saying that, if it was done by the BBC Micro, if you're into your computers and you know exactly when the release date was, for those of you that don't know, the BBC Micro was released on December of 1981. So the logos themselves could be dated to around... Maybe he's a late 81, uh, perhaps uh, early 82. So these logos could stem from 1982. But the, again, if you want a plus side of the logo, the fact that they used three different jingles so it wasn't the same jingle for every logo, I suppose that's a plus again. But other than that, like... Um, Boyd's previous and even video sports for all. It's it's it is a boring logo. At the time it'd have probably been somewhat new and exciting, but now looking at it now it's dated and boring and other stuff. Now I said earlier that Imogen uh, would have done her contribution and she has, so <clears throat> Here is what Imogen had to say about these particular logos. So like my overall on the logos was like I thought the they were really boring and I just got bored halfway through. I like the one that had the green logo because uh, my favourite colour is green. Um, uh, other than that I just don't really like it. They could have used more colour. So now that you've had a chance to listen to my opinion over, over the logos and Imogen's opinion over the logos, uh, what I would like is your opinion. Do you like the logo? Do you like what they did with the logo? Do you not like the logo? Is it like us? Do you find it boring? Uh, there is going to be a second part of this because um, there is some extras because Temple did another logo which I'm... Um, going to include in the extras episode and so did ATA. Mega on the other hand um, they didn't uh, they just seem to have disappeared and like with ATA and Temple the original logos which we've shown you today they didn't have any videos on preset.co.uk either so uh, I couldn't show you any video sleeves and without um, a physical copy I couldn't I couldn't tell you what even what films these logos would be on so um, is there a logo that you would like me and Imogen to have a look at and um, it could be anything from the preset video era the post set video era doesn't have to be from the UK it can be from any country around the world Apart from, like, say, Greece, where they do the um, rip-off logos, where they use actual music for uh, certain logos, like, su such as uh, the Final Countdown, and I think um, one of um, Jean-Michel Jarre's Equinox tracks is on one of them, or Oxygen, or something. But is there some that if there is something that you'd like us to look at, please let me know, and we'll take a look. We'll show video sleeves of um, some of the films that they released, if we can find any. And we'll give our opinion of whether we like it, whether we don't like it. Or if there's something we don't like, is there something that we do like about the logo? It's entirely up to you. Now, I would like to thank, like I did in my previous video, I would like to thank the logo community for actually uploading these videos. Because... 
Without them, this video wouldn't have been possible. I'd like to thank my daughter Imogen for making her little contribution to Look at the Logo. I hope to try and make uh, Look at the Logo more regular than I have. I mean, it's just with the whole lockdown thing, I just haven't had the motivation to do Look at the Logo, even though I know there's a couple of people who do enjoy my videos and I'd like to thank them for sticking with me. Um, so hopefully uh, the extras one will be made and put up tomorrow and I'd like to again thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode of Look at the Logo.